We all know EV cars are going to be a huge part of the future moving forward, but what about EV buses for larger transportation? What do you think about that? And I say yes, if you guys are excited about the future of EVs, stick around because this is a stock that is under $3 a share that could really take off soon as this EV industry continues to boom. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I talk about stocks on this channel as well as all things investing and personal finance. All I ask, if you guys are not yet subscribed, do me a favor and please hit that subscribe button. It really goes a long way in helping to support the channel. Also, if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below on what you think about this stock. I have some really cool information to share with you guys on this stock and being so cheap, I think it has a ton of potential. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video to see what I think about this company. So getting right into it, let's get into Grand West Transportation Group. And right off the bat, I do want to let you guys know this stock is traded on the OTC and not the NASDAQ yet. But before you click off this video because you can't trade on the OTC, you might want to consider over opening up a larger broker with companies like Charles Schwab, Vanguard, JP Morgan, or something like that, because getting into these stocks before they list on the NASDAQ can get you substantially more gains and quickly. Stocks like these that are starting to boom, once they get put on the NASDAQ, they can take off extremely quickly. So with that said, this company has been growing very quick, as you can see from this stock graph, and is planning to list on the NASDAQ very soon. Very soon is in the next couple quarters of this year. So I wanted to get this video out to you quick so you can get an early jump on this stock if you think you want to invest in this company. So like I said, this company makes electric buses, which I think is absolutely the future. Think about all the bus transportation out there right now, whether that's school buses going to school every single day, city buses traveling every single day, and so many more. The market is absolutely huge. And with the world moving towards this greener society, I can see these electric buses being huge and soon. And I really am going to be hitting a lot more on this greener world in this week coming up and the week followings because I just think there is such a huge opportunity coming for this new greener world. With Biden coming in and wanting to create a very green world, I think there is a lot of money to be made in clean energy stocks. So stay tuned. I will be talking about that much more. But EV vehicles, is going to be a part of that too and getting into a company like this at such a small price could lead you to some big gains if this company can do what it's set out to do. So getting into it here, I want to go through their investor presentation pretty quickly, but I want to highlight some important details. So first off, Grand West is a Canadian company that designs, engineers, and manufactures mid-sized multi-purpose transit vehicles for public and commercial enterprises. They are a market leader in mid-sized heavy-duty buses in Canada. They also have, as you can see, 90% market penetration in Canada. And so yes, this is a Canadian company, but they are getting another location in the US and starting to open up their US market as we speak. And with these buses, there is a 33% fuel savings. We can see here lower capital and operating cost, right sizing that fits your fleet, smoother ride, purpose built, and fits into your community. And as you can see, these buses look very normal, but it is the cost savings in electric motor that will lead us to this greener world and hopefully can make this company take off very soon. So we're gonna read through here some key highlights. And the first big one is this is not a startup. And you know how much I like those four words. It is extremely hard investing in startup companies. Now, don't get me wrong, that can pay off very well if you invest in the right companies. But unfortunately, a lot of startups do fail, making them very risky investments. Now, not that this isn't a risky investment. This most definitely is. It is a high risk penny stock. As you know, it's not even traded on the NASDAQ yet, which makes it even more risky. But there is a business behind every stock price. And this business is not a startup and already has a lot of orders coming in. So reading through this here, they already have established relationships with transit authorities. They've achieved over 90% market share in core products in Canada. They also have over 500 vehicles operating in Canada alone, sales in revenue and reoccurring parts business, and they are currently delivering 50 million in orders, which is a hundred buses before quarter two. So that is big $50 million in orders or revenue already, and that is a hundred buses. Another big one here, point number two, they're opening new manufacturing and USA headquarters in the state of Washington. They say momentum has started in the USA with recent large orders delivered by America 
compliant buses in best in class FTA testing. Down here in the bottom left, they have also partnered with BMW for their battery technology. The vehicles are engineered by Hoffer Germany for Grand West, and Bloomberg NEF estimates the following sales for battery electric buses, and that is 2,000 vehicles in 2020, 25,000 by 2030, and 75,000 in 2040. So as you can see, a growing market here. And I think it has potential to grow even faster this because I think the EV market is going to grow 10 times what it is now. It is starting to get popular, especially this year as we've seen growth with Tesla and Neo. But I think with the new administration coming in, it is just going to take things to the next level. And we're going to start to see EV stocks and clean energy stocks just heading to the moon. So like I said, big opportunity here for investors. And lastly here, they have a strong management team. The company is well managed and ready for growth. And I just think reading some of these competitive advantages here, is pretty cool when comparing it to other people. We can see purpose-built low floor for easy entrance, same powertrain as Ford or GM, same hydraulic brakes, which is going to be easy to operate, and it's built to outlast a cutaway bus. And as you can see, the difference here, cutaway and vicinity LT. Light duty market, 22,000 annual sales in Canada, and more competitive advantages over here. Now we already went over this slide a little bit. You can see they did partner with BMW for their battery packs, so a well-known own reputable company making their batteries which is always good to see now here's their usa strategy and them expanding their dealer network we can see here why dealers it's because there's coverage in every state most states will require a building with a dealer license and you have relationships set in place the growth what will the growth look like and how will it grow well there is a major industry need has created cancellation of dealers dealers are crying out for new product and vicinity buses will fill the need now washington state will be their USA headquarters and as we're going to get into is going to be a pretty big headquarter able to produce a ton of buses and this is going to assemble buses for buy American orders it is a cost-effective location and is actually 30 minutes from their Canada headquarters which is very good especially for employees that they may need to transfer it's really not that far away and of course there will be engineers on staff now here's something pretty cool this is their production and capacity by putting this new headquarters in the USA in Washington state they're going to increase their production up to 1,000 units per year and they will also have contract manufacturing partners capable of producing an additional 2,000 units per year supply these buses are built using using 70% of USA sourced parts. So again, can be some quality stuff. But so we're gonna get into this a little later when an analyst does a review of this company. But I just wanna say right now that their production capacity is gonna be insane. They're gonna be able to fulfill so many orders and produce so many buses. Hopefully they can get the orders in to make that happen and keep growing this company. Here's also something to look at here. This is the company's history and some notable milestones. Most important being in 2020 over here, large USA private order valued at over 40 million dollars introduced electric so this was an electric bus order of over 40 million dollars and that is a big boost in revenue just right there and hopefully when this order is out it probably is already they will like what they have and this company can continue to expand selling more and more buses and now before i go any further like i said i want to talk about what one analyst has to say but before i do that i want to compare this to another electric bus manufacturer that has doubled their stock price in the last month and that is as you can see here green power company and don't get me wrong i think this company is great too and is definitely worth a deeper look but i wanted to show you the smaller company in this video because it has potential to be sitting right next to this company if it can stay on track and keep increasing its sales but as you can see last month december 15th this stock price was sitting at 17 dollars 41 now it is almost double that at 31 dollars. and now i'm not going to talk about this too in depth because i do want to focus on the other company but i just want to show you what this company has to offer to compare it to the company we're looking at today. So this company has 18 physical locations across the US, 70 plus experienced sales personnel, and a partnership with the nation's largest bus dealer, Creative Bus Sales. And as you can see here, they have a lot of different markets, more than the company we're looking at at this time. They have many different buses designed for a ton of different passengers. And you can see them down here, some of their different buses available. They also have bigger buses and school buses. And you can see here, 
attacking into this school bus market. Hopefully, Grand West Transportation Group can get into this as well because there's 480,000 school buses in service across the United States and 26 million students are transported daily. So this could be a huge industry. And like you can see, this company is already in this industry, but don't worry because there is definitely room for more than one company in this industry. Now, this is another thing I want to look at here. As you can see, revenue has been increasing for these guys, but take a look at the revenue, 2020, $13.5 million. While I'm sure that's good, Grand West had one order of $40 million in 2020. That is almost four times what their revenue is. Yet this is a $2 stock and Grand Power Bus is a $30 stock. Now I know there's lots of other factors, but just looking at revenue, it seems like Grand West Transportation is off to a pretty good start. And the point of all this is, is we wanna find the next company that can 10X in this industry. This stock has already doubled and I'm sure it could go up much more, but it does have a higher starting price tag. I really think at $2 a share, Grand West Transportation, as always, if they can do what they need to do, will be a big stock in the future because there's going to be lots of room in this industry and there's definitely going to be room for two competitors and a lot more. There's tons of buses. Every time you drive on the road, you're going to see a bus of some sort. And eventually, I do believe all or most will be EV vehicles. So there will be lots of room for multiple companies to get a part of this market share. This company, I think, does have the potential to do it. We will see if they can get the job done. But expanding into the US is awesome and that is already underway. And I think that is really going to put a huge jump into this business. Getting that $40 million order is great too. Hopefully, that will just be the start and many more orders can start coming in. In. I will say also with the size of the facilities that they are building in the US, they are going to be able to do hundreds of millions of dollars worth of revenue every year. And this can really help this company take off. So the last thing I want to look at here is a few analyst predictions on Yahoo Finance. This guy Mark has a ton of stuff to say about this company and all of his facts are correct. And from his facts, you can see where he predicts this company to be going in the near future. If his predictions are correct, this stock could be a huge one and soon. Let's get into what he has to say. So he says, his target price for this company during 2021 is between $6 and $10 per share. And this is based on roughly a market cap of $600 million to $1 billion. And here's his rationale. I'm not going to read through all this. I'll just highlight a few important points. But he says they had explicitly said that they are going to be listing on the NASDAQ very soon. And this was confirmed by their investor relations. When this happens, this will increase visibility and potential investors. And he says as these new potential investors become aware of how undervalued this company is, it will drive the share price up much higher. See GP as an example, and we just looked at them, and as you can see, their stock price has shot up. Some people invest in that company when it was like a dollar or less, and now it's at $30 a share. So could this be another one of those? We're gonna have to find out. This company also has a diverse product offering of buses, including their new EV bus, which they partnered with BMW for. And as he confirms, they already have a $40 million order from a large US buyer for these EV buses. And this is where it gets pretty cool here, talking about their production and how much revenue they can do out of these new facilities. He says the company is setting up a US headquarters and building a new plant in Washington state. This new plant will produce over 1,000 buses per year at roughly 350K per bus. That would be $350 million in revenue. They further have the capacity for an additional 2,000 buses per year, which would be an additional $700 million in revenues per year. So therefore, potential revenues for this company are over $1 billion per year based on this scenario, which comes exactly from their investment presentation. They say that the new facility in Washington can do a thousand buses per year and that they will be able to do 2000 buses per year through contract manufacturing. So all of that is correct. And I think this price of 350 K per bus is accurate, maybe even on the low side compared to what we were reading in that investor presentation. And as you can see, he says they also have $50 million in new orders being delivered in Q2 2021 alone. That is this year coming up very soon, guys. And he says this first quarter earnings call is going to be exceptional. He also says company insiders have been buying up these shares hand over hand and bought over 800,000 shares in the public market over the past year. The company's also stated a goal to become profitable very soon. And like he says, this will make the company soar in value. He also says, which I agree with, their market cap has significant room to grow versus their nearest competition. Right now, 125 million versus 670 million for GP, 5.4 billion for Arrival and 2 billion for Lion, which are other companies in this field. The company has more revenues and more orders than GP, so an equivalent market cap so an equivalent market cap to GP 
would be that Bus's market cap should be 5x higher right now. And we went over that in the presentation. Based off of revenues, Grand West Transportation has so much more revenues, almost four times, almost five times higher than GP. Yet GP is valued so much higher. So if you would give an equivalent market cap to GP, maybe once Grand West Transportation gets on the NASDAQ and gets a little more out there and well heard of, you can pretty much say that their stock price should be 5x what it is right now. And he does say the coming NASDAQ listing will fix that issue. And he says, therefore, there is significant upside to this share price. He also says 2021 revenues will come close to 100 million and with a 10x multiple that means this equates to a 1 billion dollar market cap by the end of 2021 which would be about 10 dollars per share so as you can see guys, there is a huge opportunity with this company. I really like this company and I think it's really gonna excel in the future. Of course, absolutely nothing is for sure, but looking at this company quickly, it seems like this company could be huge, especially like I keep saying, with this new administration coming in, they are big on clean energy and EV vehicles. And this company being at $2 a share, there is so much room for this company to grow. This company is very young and has a ton of potential. And when you compare it to other companies like Green Power, it seems like this stock is so much undervalued and of course anything can happen but if this company can stay on track i can see this being a real winner down the road or even a very short road getting in the stock before it gets listed on the nasdaq is also a big deal it will most definitely start to gain a ton of traction once it's actually listed on the nasdaq so remember guys this is not financial advice and i am no way telling you to buy this stock i'm just simply sharing my opinion on this company but i really do think this company could take off so make sure to check this one out and keep it on your watch list also let me know in the comments if you think this stock is worth investing in penny stocks are risky but they also come up with the biggest opportunities for returns let me know if you guys think this company is a buy that is going to wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching and as always i will see you in the next one